The network needs reporters on the ground in Afghanistan. And you folks are all the unmarried, childless personnel in this bureau. Kim, are you going to be joining in? The travel or the crime? A few female journalists that I've met are pretty, uh, pretty tough. Miss Baker, this is an extreme environment. All right, down, down. To be, a, you know, a woman on an embed is pretty, pretty bold, and I'm very impressed when people do it. Chief, he's back in the car. Trying to shoot us! Ooh, Rob Baker, got some. Any what the f moments when you were like reading the script? You're like, Did this really happen, or is this a complete work of fiction? It's an accurate depiction of what happens. What yeah, happens like Kim just you know, would be trying to do a stand-up remote, and just like seven guys grabbing her butt. You know, I think in, in real life, Kim actually sort of just turned around and and punched someone once because real Kim is like five ten and not having it. <laughs> you should let me interview you. But I do not know you. How can we get to know each other? <laughs> Who did you draw from for your character? Did you have a couple journalists in mind? A lot of Christine Amundpool, also just to like learn what was actually happening at the time. In Afghanistan, you're a serious piece of In New York, when you're like six, seven. Here, you were nine, borderline ten. What are you here, like a 15? <laughs> yeah. Huh. My fiance classified me as a 4.5. New York? We were New Yorkers. Yeah. Would I, have, would, would I do any better in Kabul? No. Well, as a guy, it only gets worse. It gets worse. Yeah. You have to go, I'm like, so much more competition. Yeah. <laughs> the odds are in your favor in, in New York. Today, Kabul's first licensed female driver, Gulbahar Yousefi, hits the road in the front. That sucks. That sucks for women.